right here. Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Geller from joyofkosher.com and today's recipe is apple honey and tart cherry dessert rolls. Yum, yum, beyond yum is all I have to say. This recipe is brought to you by Winn-Dixie, my favorite kosher neighborhood store. Now I do demos for Winn-Dixie all over the Southeast. I've been to South Florida, to Jacksonville, to I'm going to Birmingham, Alabama. I love shopping in the Winn-Dixie stores. They have over a thousand essential, everyday, quality kosher products at a great value, and I'm going to be baking with them today. We're gonna start with one teaspoon of fine grain salt. If you use a coarser grain salt, it can cause your dough to tear. Three cups of all-purpose flour. Half cup sugar. The two teaspoons of yeast. Add one cup of warm water and about three tablespoons of oil. Canola, vegetable, olive oil, they all work. Okay, so I'm just giving it a quick mix to pull all the ingredients together and form it into a dough, and now I'm gonna use my hands to start kneading. And we'll do this for like about a minute in the bowl, and then we'll take it out onto the counter. And then we continue kneading it for about three minutes. Folding the dough in on itself and turning it about a quarter turn, pushing down and away. Oil the bowl coating the sides. We're gonna grab our dough, beautiful, and just roll it nicely in the oil to coat everywhere. Cover it with a damp kitchen towel. I'm gonna let it rise in a warm and cozy place for about an hour to an hour and a half. So just to get going on our filling, we wanna peel and shred three apples. You can use red, delicious, Granny Smith, Pink Lady, whatever you've got around. We're gonna prepare our syrup. In a small saucepan, you're gonna add a half a cup of oil, a half a cup of honey, a half cup of packed brown sugar, and one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Over a low flame, we're just gonna whisk that just until it's starting to become smooth and combined, about 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, so then remove it from the heat and we're gonna add a half a cup of coconut milk and a pinch or two of salt. Whisking to combine everything so the syrup's a nice brown creamy color. Set it aside now and let it cool slightly while we continue with the recipe. So the moment of truth, we've arrived. We're gonna fill and assemble our apple and honey tart cherry dessert rolls. So basically we're gonna turn the dough out and we're gonna to start to roll. 24 by 12 inch rectangle. Okay, so now I'm gonna squeeze my cute little Winn-Dixie honey bear all over the dough. Little honey never hurt anyone. I don't think a lot ever hurt anyone either. So now we're gonna put our apples on. Now guys, do not worry if your apples are brown. They're gonna oxidize from the moment that you peel them, but just know it will not affect the beauty of your finished product or the taste, which is most important. And notice that I'm leaving about a one inch border or so. This will help to make sure that when we roll it up, we're not gonna lose any of our precious filling. So now of course the classic would be cinnamon and raisins, but I'm using tart cherries because I love them. I love this really sweet dessert and then just getting a blast of a tart dried cherry, one of my favorites. And now we're ready to roll. Okay guys, we're gonna roll this up from the long side like a jelly roll, nice and tight. So now we're gonna grab our nine by 13 baking dish and God sent baking paper. So just whisking, again, our cooled syrup. And we're gonna pour this in to our baking dish. Yum. Okay, so we're going for 16 equal slices. Short, quick strokes. Okay, so now we're just gonna place them in four rows of four. This goes into a 350 degree preheated oven for about 30 minutes, just so it's lightly golden and brown. Hot and bubbly and sticky out of the oven, our apple honey and tart cherry dessert rolls are beyond delish. This recipe can be found at joyofkosher.com slash Winn-Dixie or winndixie.com slash kosher. That's where you'll find our Joy of Kosher Winn-Dixie Rosh Hashanah ebook with this recipe and 20 other amazing holiday recipes which are also great for year round. Now we eat. Happy holidays. <laughs>